Captain Wild from the Bushcraft and Wild Animals in central Wisconsin. Today we're going to do a few things. Um, I got a mail call. I'm going to talk about my channel and my giveaway. So you guys stick around and uh, we'll be back in a bit. This is going to be a two-part series of the process, how to make a tincture. Um, chaga is, uh, is very old, and one of the things I want to get into right away is, guys, don't har over-harvest this. It takes so long to, to make for the chaga to grow and to reproduce its spores that we do not want to over-harvest this. and Because we, we don't want to end up like Russia and all the other countries that are running out. That's why it's so expensive online right now. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this and we're going to do a two-step series and we're going to take our, our, our milk here and we're going to actually grind it into a, a powder and then we're going to do the alcohol tincture. After the alcohol tincture, that takes eight weeks. That will be part two. And then I'm going to take you back in here and we're going to cook it down and then we'll add it all together. Now I sat and watched a lot of videos, uh, did a lot of research and some of the best ways to make the double extract and in my opinion this is the best method. I see a lot of guys that just put chunks in there I'm, and I'm looking at chaga is so porous that it sucks all the vodka up. So you can't really get it all out of there so I'm going to try it as milled and see if it's better because then I can actually squeeze it out. This the guy that I was watching he just cut chunks up put it in a jar made your tincture normally and let it sit for minimum eight weeks and then he went through the steps. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put it through the mill we're going to break it up put it through the mill put it in a mason jars, fill it up, and then mark it, and after that we will go and bring you guys back, which will be the video two of the cooking process. So, let's get into some of the chaga. Chaga has a list a mile long of what the benefits are. Cancer fighting is uh, on there you can go online and look there's so much information about how chaga is beneficial to you the problem with chaga is, is there's two stages to chaga what I learned this part is also beneficial as this part now these are these are pretty big chunks I weighed this one the other day and this was five pounds So they both have benefits to you, but this is hard as a rock, and this is like a cork. So what I'm going to do... 
do is I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to break this one in little pieces to get it so that I can work with it and then we're going to put it through the mill and we'll get this. When we get this, we'll fill each one of these up half and then we'll fill them up half with vodka. You guys got to remember too that the ratio here, this is going to actually soak up a lot of that vodka so you want to do half and half and you have to keep an eye on it. You might have to add some more in there meanwhile because it's going to soak up some of that vodka. When you do a fresh uh, herb, it's equal parts. So if you grind and the more you stick in there, obviously the stronger it's going to be. Now for the benefits, if you go on there and look up antioxidants, uh, goji berries has been a big one for a long time. Um, if my, I remember goji berries had, if I remember right, it was like 8,000 on the antioxidants and this had over a million. So just in that factor, it's good for uh, flus, it's good for respiratory issues, um, cancer fighting, Pain, uh, rebuilding blood cells, uh, lowering cholesterol, uh, strengthening bones, strengthening your blood period. This is a whole detox of your whole body. This doesn't just pick on one individual part of your body. This does the whole thing. So we really have to, sorry about that, we really have to look at that part, uh, that part of it is that we really, when we do a detox, we're looking at either, uh, like um, dandelion, it does just uh, the, your intestines and a detox that way. This it detox your blood, uh, your muscle structure, it's weight loss. Um, some of the reviews that I read on here, people were using this for two months and their cholesterol right in line. Now that's amazing for someone that's older that has high cholesterol. Uh, garlic is a really good one for that, but for two months, that's that's he made it, that's amazing to me that it can do that that quick. Now, on the tinctures for heavy doses for big problems, they're saying um, five teaspoons a day. Uh, I do, did make the tea the other day with it. I put it in the slow cooker, uh, cooked it for uh, four hours. And I was, I was taking that to work and drinking that. It has a good flavor. There ain't much there. Good, good to mix with your coffee. So let's get into this. How, how are we going to attack this thing? Because these are pretty big. Let's put this one off to the side for now. The easiest way that I found, believe it or not, sizes that I can handle. You can really see the nice cork. So what we're going to do is we're going to put off some of these bigger pieces here and I'm going to try to get this down to a manageable size so that we can grind it. Take the bigger pieces out and then uh, redo it. And right now it's about 
14 below with the wind chill is probably 35 below so I really don't want to go outside and try this it's cold all right so we're going to take this portion portion of it and I'm going to dump this into the bowl why that I'm, I'm actually going to put it through the grinder and do it that way is because at the end. Alright guys, so now we're going to take the grinder. So the first time that you use it, if you're going to make it out of a tea, take it out, dry it out, you can use it again. Just take it back in the refrigerator. You can use this three times, so that's, there's a lot of chaga here. So we're going to set this off to the side for the giveaway. And so now what we're going to do is what I want to do is I want to do equal parts of each. So we'll get, we'll get set up and we'll get the jars set up. And bring you back and we'll show you how we do the tinctures. Hey guys, welcome back. So we had some things come up that day that I started this video. So in the process I did grind up the rest of my chaga. You saw the mill here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in the jars and they're, these are the alcohol tinctures. And since I'm not going to promote alcohol, I didn't show that part. But these will sit for eight weeks, and we got five quarts, or five quarts out of that that I made. And I'll let that sit. We got it marked in the calendar for uh, eight weeks. And so there will be a part two to this, and we'll show you what we do after that. But now, right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to shake them every day. And what I did is put paraffin wax on the tops of these so that the rust and stuff on the lids doesn't happen. So we'll just shape these up really good. And the idea is, is every time you think about it, you know, two, three, four times a day, we grab a hold of them and we shake them. Just to get everything up and moving. tinctures I might as well throw a garlic one in there because I'm getting low on the garlic tincture so this is going to sit the same amount eight weeks or longer the longer it is the better it is and just grab it shake it every day one of the key things to a tincture guys is you want to make sure that your substance and your alcohol your alcohol is higher than the substance is that way it doesn't uh, go bad so in eight weeks we'll have part two so you guys thanks for watching you guys all take care god bless and we'll see you next time